How are you doing? I'm. It's now the evening. I'm, I'm sort of recovering from bad sleeping uh, tablets.、Um, anyhow, there's this very silly、uh, and and repetitive story in my life that is going on, and、um, so.、Uh, I'm going to examine it from another angle. I'm going to look at it from a layered approach. Okay, I would say that, and I mean, I'm in contact with all kinds of forces in my head. Okay, so I have all kinds of inner dialogues. I mean, the thing is that 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 there is somewhat a margin of error, not major, and there is a lack of clarity, which is diminishing. But anyway, so. Uh, okay, at the origin of everything in this fictional account, which I'm writing a book about, it's going to come out. I'm going to probably publish it next year sometime when I finish writing it, or the year after. Okay, there's first and foremost there is. Okay, there's this guy that's born who's linked to all these prophecies, and then it's sort of. The world at first doesn't notice him, and then they notice him. That's straight out of the Old Testament. And then,、um, and then there's this other guy who has this idea. So you know, this idea to bomb the World Trade Center, right? To sort of support their own self-interest in terms of you know old texts written in books belonging to religious. Beliefs, you know, such as Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and so forth. So, this guy, who in this fictional account we're going to say his name is Elia Henry,、uh, and actually I did speak, you know, to God in this fictional account, and also to Satan, who calls me his favorite brother, and he's absolutely backing me. And at this point, he pretends to be working for me. I don't know what that means exactly, but anyhow. I guess it's something positive, isn't it? For as opposed to against. But anyhow, so、uh, the thing is that he told me he didn't suggest it through anybody else either. So this guy got this idea. He didn't get this idea through his wife or friends. He got this idea directly in his own head to bomb the World Trade Center. Now I did hear the the whole idea came out of a novel that was written in the late nineteen nineties. And I believe it's by Tom Clancy. I really don't know, and I haven't read that book, and I don't really plan to read it either. But in any event,、um, so、uh, this Elia Henry in this fictional account gets this idea, and then he's together. He's contacting、uh, politicians and rulers, meaning to say kings, because these people do get named by Jesus, who's supposed to be me. In、uh, biblical prophecies, in the Book of Revelation, as absolute monarchs, and they together agree to set up Al Qaeda. So, in the layer now, the first layer there's Elia. Okay, then the second layer there's his immediate family, which obviously excludes me because you know I'm not working with these people for fighting. But it includes people like in my fictional account with sort of names like.、Uh, And Muriel and Anne and then Anna and Lia and、uh, Augusto, you know these kind of people. So not very nice people, my fictional account, right? And so, and then finally, this fictional account is sort of centered around、um, this idea of somebody who's sort of gay, which was me a while ago in my current lifestyle, I suppose.、Um, You know, becoming straight. Okay, but it's actually, you know, if you read the whole account, it's very, very easy to understand. Okay, but it's all symbolically expressed, so it involves all kinds of things from incest. Without getting into detail, too many details. And anyway, so it involves this wedding, among other things, where it was this character who's called him and get this name right this time because I always get it wrong. It's called the New Jerusalem. Okay, so they get this other family involved, who's moderately wealthy. Or sort of wealthy, they're real low lives from Greece as well. But they have one person in the family who's a bit less of a low life, who in this fictional account used to be my friend. So anyhow, something happens, and sort of I fall in love with this person. I mean, it certainly wasn't the first person in my fictional account I fell in love with, right? I was gay, but anyway, and this was a girl. So anyway, the thing is, nothing happens, of course, because it was always gay. And then the thing is that, or I'm gay, or in this fictional account, I'm gay. So. 
they get these people involved together, and then they get world religions, too, involved, you know. So there's Islam on one hand, which just, you know, the thing about Islam, I mean, is it's got no central authority figure. I mean, it's just got all these different branches and sects of Islam, okay, Sunni and Shia and Wahhabi and all kinds of other things. Not that many, really, but they have no central authority, and these people basically preach not to, because I've met a lot of religious leaders in Islam, right? So these people preach not to care about money, and all they do is ask for money, okay? So they basically contacted the religious leaders, and they put a package together with the kings and the religious leaders, and then they could put Al-Qaeda, obviously, the original account the king of Saudi Arabia, who I don't like in real life, you know. I think he looks like a pig. But in any event, so, you know, so the King of Saudi Arabia must have been involved too because he used a guy from one of the closest family, the royal family in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. You know, and then they set up Al-Qaeda and then this whole thing, pretense was put up. And and so so I would say in a layer analysis, first layer is Ali and his siblings, excluding me, obviously. And then the second layer is his cousins and these sort of wannabe New Jerusalem knights, okay? And then the third layer is the kings of this world who expect to get back, sort of something akin to feudal privileges, a much greater uh, political and economic import than they have at the moment. And then if they are... You know, for example, the royal family in Saudi Arabia is not popular at all. I met all kinds of Saudis, so if they don't get some kind of reason to justify the fact that they're there. So, you know, absolute monarchs sort of expect to get the reason for the fact that they're doing the horrible job that they're doing. I mean, like, for example, the royal family in Jordan, okay, I don't like them at all either. And then they were also going to restore, you know, the royal family in Iraq. And I don't read the paper really but that much, but I mean, there's a war going on. And, trying to get rid of Qaddafi to put back that royal family. I have no idea where they are, but I mean, you can just Google it. I mean, there's actually a Libyan royal family out there. So, and so basically, it's all through corrupting politicians. And uh, and then, of course, the final, you know, the final link in the whole story, you know, and uh, it's, it's me that I'm supposed to come out and pretend to support Christian prophecies and name these kings, right? And sort of, I don't want to work with these people, okay? And I do in my fictional account speak to God directly, as well as everybody else that has ever existed, who I resurrected, as well as, you know, a host of angels and Satan himself, and, you know, I have no intention of working with these people, I think they're all low lives, I think, the, you know, Elia and his immediate family and the Federici's are just the lowest low lives I've met, and I think the Guardian AI is a horrible, 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 unpleasant people, I mean, what pieces of shit, okay? And then, I mean, their mom was okay. She was just like a total fake then, right? I mean, just, you know. But anyway, so. And then, um, she must be at this point, right? But anyway, uh, and then, you know, the royalty, I don't really know them. So I have no ideas about them. You know, but I mean, they're in on the story. So now what we're trying to see is if we can, you know, unlink sort of this, sort of, uh, this, uh, status quo ante, which is all these people working together, you know, linked to this kind of dysfunctional operation they're having on my life in the world, which is expressed in the war in Iraq, the war that's going on now in Libya, you know, Al-Qaeda, you know, my getting hassled about a hundred times a day with pretenses and lies. I mean, imagine, I have, a, I have a queer lifestyle, so for a girl who's 17 to accuse me of having made sexual advances to her. I mean, it's pretty preposterous and absurd. So in any event, in any event, um, you know, and I mean, I'm no different from anybody else out there. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to become God or not. I mean, I am not I'm becoming smarter, you know, but I think, I think that basically what most people do is the best thing, you know, because if not, most people would not do it. So, you know, we need to take everything into account. And I don't think that in the final analysis, when people choose what to do and what not to do, they're either really, you know, I just don't believe in this incredible, you know, stupidity out there. But, you know, I just, I don't really believe in stupidity at all, okay? Uh, I, you know, I must say in this experience, I really enjoyed sort of coming into contact with Denmark and the Danes. I really think they're high-minded people. 
and I was sick in Denmark and everyone was so nice to me. It was just a really magical, wonderful, fantastic experience. And I do have a house and an apartment now in Stockholm and the suites are very similar. But there's something about Denmark which is unique and you can't find anywhere else. I mean, I really like that country. So, so anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm not really worried about my life. You know, I've got all these other beings taking care of me. So I'm not worried. You know, but uh, I think you need to put these people on trial. Okay, because they are guilty. Okay, and the solution is not letting them hassle me a hundred times a day. The solution is setting up a trial against them and making them accountable for what they've done, okay? You know, and God told me over and over again that Elia had, Henry had the idea of bombing the World Trade Center and he was backed by everybody in this video that I told you about. And they brought about Islamic terrorism to be named as kings, to have uh, greater economic and political rights and have people you know, sort of bow to them and sort of respect them and admire them, okay? So, and I don't think that's appropriate. I do think I am the guy at the moment who's been chosen by God to bring this world through the day of judgment and into paradise. I've started changing life forms here on earth already. Everybody can tell I have supernatural powers. Everybody can tell that God is backing me. So you guys, whoever's out there, has to just get your... Your, you know, using American expenses, your asses into gear and arrest these people or start a trial or start an investigation or whatever the case may be. Okay, because I don't enjoy being hassled. At the moment I'm traveling because all my, everything I was working on is being blocked by Elia. Because of the same reason that I'm speaking about now. He's blocked everything in Hong Kong and all my business and I inherited a little bit of money. Because my mother was kind enough to leave me a bit of money when she passed, okay? I'm very appreciative for her, for everything that she did with me, which was wonderful and great, and I like her a lot, okay? So, she's really cool. But I mean, and I speak to her because I resurrected her and a lot, and I speak to my dad as well, all the time. And I really think that we need to get to cross this hurdle, you know, make this act of justice and just move on and embrace the future, okay? Rather than being stuck in a nick in time, okay? And just having people hassle me 30 times a day, okay? And sort of invent laws, okay? And this is a fictional account, which has a 99.9% .9 correspondence in the real world. All the names are made up, but if you try to actually equate that correspondence, you will find every character that's described in my fictional account to exist in the real world with a physical address. Okay, and they're living beings, they're human beings, there's nothing more or less than that. Okay, what I'm trying to do is bring this fictional account out from my head into the real world and life to bring these people in my fictional account in an act of real justice in the world to justice, okay, in real life, okay. So let's just do it so that we can do something else which is more fun, okay? This is really like a broken record. I'm not tired at all, I feel great, okay? But I'm just saying, if you guys get your asses into gear, you know, we can start thinking about doing other stuff, okay? Which will be better, right? right. I mean, you know, obviously God's eternal, so I mean, he's not in a rush. He's gonna make me eternal, apparently, so I'm not in a rush either, okay? Now, the question is whether you guys are going to get the same benefits, okay? So, you know, I mean, at some point, you're going to be judged, okay? Right? Each and every one of you are going to be judged for the way you respond to the situation, either by being sneaky or by being honest and forthright. And obviously, the people who responded in a better way will end up with something better. And the people who will respond in a terrible way from my divine intervention in this world will end up with nothing. Okay, I'm not going to go out and hurt anybody. I don't really consider anybody my equal. So. Okay, so have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. Bye, Patronus Towers. Bye.